<laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> pardon me. I was just getting warmed up for today's fight. Or, um, uh, I mean, <laughs> adventure. Friends, the votes are in, they've been tallied, and in the words of one of my followers, it's clobbering time! In the right-hand corner, we've got Malice, Pathos, and Rubis, and in the left-hand corner, defending their title, Jamie and Pentagon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Let's return now to Revenge of the Rainbow Dragons. We accept your challenge, gentlemen, says Pentagon. Act. Excellent, hisses Rubis. These are the rules. No magical items may be used. Your staff, ring, and cube must be set aside, and we will remove all of our special aids. As he speaks, a variety of rings, charms, and necklaces clatter to the floor. Any magic, so long as it's performed by your skills alone, is allowed. How do we know you're not hiding something special, you ask? Would we do that? protests Pathos. Do owls fly? sneers Fox. Any other rules? asks Pentagon. Nope. It's very simple, replies Pathos. The four of us go into the Great Hall, and whoever emerges alive wins. The three of you against Pentagon? That's not fair, you exclaim. Fair? Fair? Of course it's fair. Your precious Pentagon studied under the great gump. We had to settle for the lowly scrumbog, and we learned things only when we could wake him or keep him from getting drunk. You forget that Pentagon's at least 300 years older than we are. He had all the time to practice and acquire new knowledge. It will take everything we three know to make it fair. But we have a few tricks up our sleeve. Don't worry, Jamie, says Pentagon. Everything will be just fine. Don't be so sure of that, sneers Malice. Well now, there's no reason to wait. Let's begin, says Pentagon, striding towards the door. You trail after him uncertainly. Halt! Screeches Rubis. Where do you think you're going? No one goes into that room except us. The zoo stays outside. Just give me the word, kid, and I'll bite him, snarls Fox. The fellow is correct, Jamie, says Owl. The contest is not ours. We must not intrude. But what shall we do? You exclaim angrily. I can't just sit around here and twiddle my thumbs. No, indeed, says Malice. We would like to know that you will not be twiddling or meddling while we are occupied. What do you suggest? Asks Pentagon. We have several suggestions, says Rubis, rubbing his hands together. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right. That's the end of round one. Friends, these wizards are crafty. Just what have they got up their sleeve? Rubus gives us some choices. You can go back to limbo. It's very nice this time of year. Or you can rest in the tower. The view is quite nice. Or you can relax in the game room in the basement. <laughs> friends comments below or wait for the poll later this week in stories and let me know just where will our adventure go the choice is yours